Nah, I like laughing. It's more fun than being on a self-righteous justice brigade for an egg donor to make money. You're pathetic. So are you. Kim, the decision I made was not made lightly. This wasn't a quick decision. My husband and I spoke about the situation and I consulted others. I knew people would be upset, but I couldn't stand behind something with what I knew. I had to provide proof and evidence to GoFundMe and they investigated the claim. Wendy, I think you don't know the whole situation. But you can be mad at me for a situation you believe you fully understand. I know the truth. Jenny, starting to lose my drive when at every turn I'm told I'm a shitty person. Molly's paid for this story in full. Believe that. Well, Amanda, why does Molly need to create drama and turn people against each other? She's doing this. And me be messy. Have you watched Molly for two weeks? Megan, she literally called and yelled at me for saying we spoke. Then thanked me for the help. Like, she's never told me to not share. She's never said to keep things off the record. She yelled at me for sharing that we spoke. She didn't want anyone to know we talked. Why? I can only guess because of Molly. Carrie, why is Molly talking shit about me nonstop? She made it about me. Lisa, why not play Molly and I against each other? Leticia only responded when I sent money, and Molly keeps sending them money. Please read this synopsis of a person involved in a recent case I've been covering. I had no idea who she was outside of a single case I covered last fall. I had no clue the level of harassment and threats she would make to other YouTubers that got involved in the story. In my opinion, absolutely no one deserved the harassment, bullying, and threats they have received and continue to receive. This article was sent by a follower with experience with this person. Nat Natalie, that's not my video. Just Google Molly. She's a vulture of tragedy and hurts people daily. Uh, yeah, Gladys, <laughs> yeah, I'm not jealous of Big Juicy. Like at all, ever. Amber, slander, slander is a lie. That's what Molly does. Remember when she said I stole a source or that harassed a family? I didn't do those things. Amanda, why does Molly need to create drama and turn people against each other? She's doing this. Oh, Linda, there is no justice for Vaughn. He attempted suicide. His mom made up, made up a fake story to make money. Wake up and request a refund. Yeah, Lindsay, justice from his mom. Lindsay, nothing. You get scammed. Wake up. She's an egg donor. Giving birth and abandoning your kid doesn't make you a mom. Shanta, your ignorance will make you poor. Have fun. Wanda, justice for Vaughn is fake. It's legit fake. It was always justice for Leticia's wallet. Wanda, really? What about their crimes against the kids for educational neglect? Amisha, Vaughn is in a coma. Vaughn has doctors. Vaughn does not need justice for a crime that hasn't been committed. The kids need help. Vaughn unfortunately attempted suicide and now has no brain activity. Honestly, I haven't seen an update on the actual problem at hand in a while. Well, there are none, because the Tisha has cash apps to collect and drinks to have. <laughs> I mean, ask for her receipts. She'll show you none. I'm, I'm sure Vaughn would be horrified to see what this has turned into from all sides. 
But kids will love their mother no matter what they do. They will love their mother unconditionally, even if the mother doesn't show the same in return. <laughs> she wasn't his mom. This right here, the Tisha bias seemingly wants to be the only person profiting off of Vaughn. Why? These are my thoughts and opinions. He was adopted by his grandmother in 1995. Vaughn spoke openly that she stole money from him to start a cab company, which she never paid back. A reason why Vaughn cut ties with her, she always wanted him to send her money. Rochelle says she has a 2022 truck, but Letitia was flexing this 2020 Hyundai Palisades. So when did she pick up the 2022 truck? Where are your receipts for your attorney? Dre never banned her from the hospital. I believe they saw Dre making money and Letitia wanted her piece of the pie too. Y'all say I'm slandering, but I'm speaking my opinions. Freedom of speech is a right. I mean, they spoke their opinions and I got refunded by GoFundMe. <laughs> Laura, nope. I never spoke to Letitia. I had to file a claim for fraud with GoFundMe. Yeah, no, nah, Letitia's making this worse for Vaughn. They're still fundraising today. Like, come on. Jamie, it's not a good look to defraud the public and use your son's attempted suicide for financial gain.